Good afternoon everybody. Today I'm going to provide you guys with a short YouTube tutorial on a player movement script to make a game object move left, right, up and down. And we're going to be using Unity 3D. Unity 3D is a game engine to make PC games, mobile games, PlayStation or Xbox. But to start, we're going to need to download it. So open up an internet tab and go to unity3d.com at unity3d.com we're going to click the download tab and here we can download the newest version of unity which is 4.52 so it will have all the new features that weren't involved in the previous versions so after that's downloaded we're going to click on unity and we're going to create a new project and we're going to call it player movement since that's what we're going to work on today and we're going to set up the defaults for 2D because 2D is a lot easier for me to work on because I haven't fully dived into the 3D feature since I've been working on 2D games for a class project. So we're going to click create and here this is what Unity brings up. You can see there is a scene screen, a game screen, a hierarchy, a project and an inspector screen. You can change the layout to however you see fit. I have mine set at 2 by 3 but you can change it to a 4 by 4 split. You can split it to the default screen which when you initially download Unity this will would have provide to you. You can change it to a tall layout or you can change it to a wide layout. I'm going to go back to 2 by 3 and show you something else. You can also customize how you want the screen set up. Say I want hierarchy over there, inspector like right there, and the project added to my scene screen. However you want and it seems fit to you and more comfortable, then you can change it however you want. So first, let's go to game object and add a game object to our uh, scene screen. Let's add a cube. So go to game object, create other, and click cube. Now our cube is shown up on our scene screen and our game screen. When you click on it, you can move it around, up, down, right, left. And when you click play button, you do the same thing. It moves up, down, right, left. So, But it doesn't do anything with any keyboard functions like we want. So we're going to have to add a script to this. So go to your project tab and we're going to create a new folder and call it scripts. And the only reason why I'm making a new folder is because when you're making a game that has a lot of textures, meshes, prefabrications, and whatever else you added into the game, it's just easier to organize it to find it later on when you need it. So click on the scripts folder and then we're going to create a C sharp script. And we're going to call this player movement. Now the script is created but there's nothing in it. So when you double click this, Mono Development will load up. And Mono Development is a scripting tool that is implemented with Unity and comes for free. It's not a separate download. You don't have to do anything else. For this tutorial we're going to avoid the start function because we don't have anything to do with the start function. As soon as you put something into the start function as soon as you load the game up it will instantly do that update is where it goes frame by frame so let me show you to start off what the start function does so we're gonna destroy game object and finish it off with a semicolon control save and now it's saved now our player movement script has something implemented in the start function but it doesn't do anything right now because we don't have it attached to anything so take the player movement script and drag it over onto the cube now the cube has the player movement script and we can start from here but I'll show you another way you can add the script on it might be easier for you go to add component or first you're going to remove the component up there and then you're going to add component go to scripts and then player movement. Now it's implemented again. 
So when we press play, our game object is destroyed because as soon as we started, I made a command that said destroy game object. So click on play and our game object shows up again. So let's go back to mono development and we'll delete this because we don't need it. So in order to make a variable for speed to make it go faster, we're going to have to go here and type in public float speed equals 1f. Public means it's implemented into the inspector. You can change it whenever you want through the inspector. If you made it private, then you the only way to change it is through mono development. Float is a decimal where you can change the speed to like 1.5, 2.2, 5.5, however you seem fit, and I will show you later on how it will be implemented. But our initial set value is at 1f. So to start, we're going to make this game object move to the right. So if input get key key code dot d this means if you press d the command is to get the key code d so when you press or hold d it will create a function and do a movement so the next part is to transform plus or equals new vector 3 speed time time delta time 0 0.0 f comma 0, 0.0 f and this will make our game object move to the right but let me explain what this does transform position is in the inspector right here transform it deals with the x y and z axis that has to do with the object and we're, since we want to move it right or left we're gonna move to change the position x deals with the horizontal y deals with the vertical z has to do with a 3d aspect that we're not gonna even touch on this tutorial so going back to mono development we made this a plus because plus makes it a positive number which will make it go right and then our variable speed is going to be times by time delta time to make things smoother so it updates frame by frame and doesn't jump around the second column is the y variable which we don't have to change because we're making it go right which is on the horizontal axis and the third column has to do with the z-axis so let's just save this one more time to make sure and then when we press play and we use the D key hold it or press it we're going off to the right okay so now let's make it go left copy this and paste it but we gotta change the key code to A because now the A key code will make it go left but one more thing we have to change is make that a, a minus because if we kept it at the plus even if we press the A key it would still go right you want it to go negative to make it go left so let's save this and click the play button one more time D is making it go right A is making it go left now we have our horizontal axis taken care of next step is to make it go up and down so, after since that's been copied, we're gonna Control V one more time, and we're gonna change the key code to W. And since the first code we copied was a plus sign, and we want it to go up, that is fine. But there we have to change this. So we're not dealing with the x-axis anymore. We're gonna have to copy this, and make it 0, 0.0 f, and then take the y-axis and take that out and just put speed time delta time in there so we're gonna save that 
hit play and now when we press it or hold W it goes up and with this now we have diagonal functions we do the W and A go left and up or W and D and right and up now the final step is to make it go down so we're gonna copy this since it has the y-axis speed time and delta time and we're gonna copy and paste this change the key code to an S and now just change this to a minus and now our game object should be able to move in all four directions and diagonally also so when we click play holding S it's going down tapping S is going down D and S bottom right S and A bottom left now our game object moves in all four directions that we want it to next step is we can play with the speed variable which is now in the inspector view like I said it was automatically set at one one thing I can show you is a tip and trick that can help you further that kinda screwed me up before because I didn't realize it did this when you click play and you change anything in the expector say let's change this to five now our cube goes much faster in every direction but when you click play it automatically goes back to one because we changed it into play mode in play mode it doesn't save so whatever changes you do while in play mode you gotta remember or write down what you changed in order to not have to do it all over again when it's here so let's change this to five and it's back where we were we can change it to like 8.5 now goes super fast and since it's a float number we can do 8.5 it was if it was just an integer 5 or 8 or 9 would be what it would allow <clears throat> so that is my tutorial on how to make a simple player movement script in using unity if you guys have any questions or comments please leave a comment below and I will get back to you this is my first video series using unity so every week or so I'm gonna try to implement just key features that people might need to know um, helpful tips with this is you can go to unity 3d.com and they have a lot of resources on there and also YouTube has a lot of resources on there um, there's a website called unity 3d student that has tutorials on basic functions just like I'm doing that can help you out but if you guys liked it and enjoyed it please comment and let me know anything I could change or make this better and you guys have a good afternoon take it easy